the Ethiopian Kenesa Bekele seeking to improve his own mark set last year in Ostrava. There are plenty of pacemakers here, including Tarika Bekele, Kenanisa's younger brother. 25 laps of the track. Tarika Bekele is uh, listed as the third of the pacemakers. So no shortage of them. Three are listed. Martin Kano, Roberto Garcia, Spaniard, also Tariqa. There is Kenanisa. Here ups and downs for that man. Downs as low as they can get after the death of his fiancée while he was out uh, with the, on a training run with her back in January. Things up to win the World Cross Country title in March. The world title at 10,000 meters in Helsinki. Followed by Martin Kena there in second place. Tarika Bekele is in third. Kenanisa, as you'd expect, just sitting in behind the two pacemakers. When Bekele set the world record in Austria, he went through the first kilometer in 2.35. So that'll be your first target. Two and a half laps of the track. First kilometer, look out for 2.35. record 26 20 31 that's the target it's a world world class field seven or eight Kenyans in the field as well along with uh, look out for John Uda as well wearing six the Tanzanian the fine athlete comes from Commonwealth bronze medalist from Manchester three years ago Sammy Kip Keita it may prove to be the best of the Kenyans the Commonwealth Games champ He's now approaching the four kilometre mark. The target at four kilometres, or at least the split for the Kelly when he broke the world record 10 37 93. So that will be the target when they go through four kilometres. That last lap 62.71. I'm afraid some of those distances you're being given are uh, Cuban. And we're approaching 5,000 metres. Just another 100 metres or so to go. Tarika Bekele leads. Kenanisa Bekele is there in second place. Despite the company, it's still very much about these two men. The target is somewhere inside 13.10. That will keep them very much on target for the world record there they are 5,000 meters 13.09.19 the world record at the moment still very much on that kilometer run very fast indeed about 2.39 so now Kenanese hits the front on his own He's going to leave his brother behind. Tariqa, I think, will know that perhaps he's going to do a little bit more work and you can see him just itching to get past. He's on to back. 13.10. That's the sort of time he's running. It is quite phenomenal. It really is taking distance running entirely. But it's taking it on a decade, isn't it? That's the way he runs. Back to back 13.10s. He's going to have to run faster than that to break the world record. Extraordinary stuff. Well, Bekele's pulling it on now. He did run it. As the, just a couple of laps slowed the pace, but he could afford to, as you say, Miles. He's still way ahead of this world record pace, and you can see his agent shouting in his ear, shouting and imploring for him to, just to keep this pace up because, you know, he's, he's really got to, he's really got to slow down if he's going to finish outside this world record. The important thing is now that he keeps his focus, keeps this pace together, doesn't do nothing dramatic because we know that he has a final lap of less than 60 seconds if he needs it, if he's still got it in his legs. Just moving past Bernard Chepko. There, back in second place, Samuel Wanjiro. What a run it's been by the Kenyan who's based these days in Japan. 
He was, in fact, the Japanese champion at 10,000 metres this season. He's winning time then, 27, 39, 34. He keeps going. He's going to knock, well, at least half a minute off that. The Kenanese of Akeli, the next time we're looking for, at 8 kilometres, 21.08. That is the time he went through 8 kilometres in Austria last year. And he looks to be well ahead of that schedule. Feel more comfortable with something just a little closer to 21 minutes. That gives him a little bit of fat, so to speak, over the last two kilometers, two kilometers here. There won't be the necessity for 55, 56 last lap. 21.04, so he's still about four seconds ahead of his own pace, although he has slipped a little bit in that kilometre, but now he's into the last five laps of the track, 67 the last 400 metres, so he's slowing just a little, up till now, he's been right on world record pace. At 8,000 metres, he was four seconds ahead of the schedule. He ran in Ostrava when he set the world record 13 months ago. Jos Hermann's there on the infield, screaming at his man. Michele, he's been on his own now for the last three kilometres. 23.48 the split there, 23.45, so he's still about three seconds ahead of the schedule. He's set in Austria, but he needs to run this final kilometre in something like 2.35, so he actually has to pick up the pace. mckinney has got incredible sprinting speed, though. But has the last nine kilometers blunted that sprinting speed? Well, he did slow down and he did lose a couple of uh, a couple of seconds on those last two or three, la two or three, two or three laps. But the important thing to note is he did stop the rot and he didn't lose enough to fall outside world record pace. And now he's run consistently around the 64 second mark for those 400 meters. So he was slowing, but he stopped that rot. Now the question is, can he continue to pick up the pace? He was three seconds up. He's really now going to push it on, break through that pain barrier. You see your servants there screaming in his ear. He'll be telling that the world record is on. He's just got to hold his form, take himself through this pain barrier. He looks, still looks relatively comfortable, but you've got to wonder what else is in the tank. 600 metres to go for Kenan Asa Bekele. He holds the world record, 26-20, 31. He's had one good go at it already this year when he ran 26, 28, 72 in Hengelo. He came close to the 5,000 metre record at the first Golden League meeting in Paris as well, but faded a bit over the final kilometre there. He hears the bell. 25, 18, 19, 20. So, he needs to run the last lap in inside 60 seconds. The previous 400 metres running outside 63, so you can do the sums yourself. He needs to run this final lap three and a half seconds quicker, about 15 or 20 metres faster than the last 400. He needs a sprint effort. Herman's on the inside of the track, screams at his man. It's Kenanisa Bekele, the Ethiopian, against the clock. It was the night where three world record attempts were built, the first two had failed, this is the closest yet, Kenanisa Bekele, the world champion this year at this distance, he didn't run the 5,000 metres because he wanted to save himself for this, he's coming up against lap runners now, there's the world record on the left hand side of the screen, 26, 20, 31, it's going to be incredibly close, Bekele's picking things up, I think he's going to do it, Bekele sets the world record and in the end he's done it couple stuff. A world record now to go with his world title. Oh, unbelievable stuff. We knew he was capable of a, of a fast final lap for 57 seconds. And look at those figures, 26, 17. He's demolished the world record for Kayleigh. Uh, running from the front for so, so long. It looked at one stage as if he was going to slip outside world record pace. But during that final lap, down the back straight, he poured on the pace. As he went into the final bend, looked as though he was losing.